houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Ashley and I make daily houseplant content. Today I'm going to be actually taking care of my houseplants again. I know, but you know what? When you have like over 250 plants, sometimes you do plant care more than twice a week, honestly. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. And I think I'm also gonna just show you some cool new growth that's happening in my collection. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just brought to that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships, which you can check out at the link in the description. You want more out of my content. So we don't have a ton to do, but we do have enough to do. So we're just gonna take care of a couple little chores. Then we are going to take a look at my collection. I'm gonna show you some cool, cool new growth. Hi, where have you been? This one just walked out from underneath the couch. So she's been vibing under the couch. It's been a couch party, Raven. Couch party. Let's do this. The first thing I need to do is actually water the shelf. So I've already watered Hoya in my collection this week, uh, which is my entire table to the right over there. This is what I use to uh, make sure my Monstera is getting enough light. And also we're gonna water actually my orchids and the philodendron on this shelf. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. I do feel bad though. I kind of cheated already. I literally like vacuumed this entire room earlier. Like got under the desk. I like took out the little like, that special vacuum tool and like got all of the extra stuff. Okay, so, oh, we can look at my prop box too. I need to like, so here's my plants. They need to be watered. Here's how you can tell. So this bad boy is droopy and kind of curly. This is my philodendron Florida ghost. He needs some water too. You can tell because the soil in the pot are so light and dry. Mykins need some water because all of the little leaves are curling. All of my orchids need to be watered and my peace lilies need to be watered as well. And the prop box. We're basically just gonna be watering this. How I try to do it is I try to make sure that at least one whole area gets watered, like of my plants, right? This one hasn't been watered in about two weeks. The Hoya have been watered and the Monsteras and my fiddly fig and my terrarium, but all that stuff's been watered. The shelf actually hasn't been watered in a hot minute. Since we're watering, we're also gonna be fertilizing. I fertilize with liquid dirt. If you wanna try out liquid dirt, it is the only fertilizer I use and you can use code PLANTME25 at checkout. Um, this is my mix solution. I actually have to make more mix. Um, so I'm just gonna pour some mix into my watering can and then I'm going to fill it up the rest of the way with water. So now we have our little fertilized water and we're gonna get to work. We're gonna start, I think, up top and move down. We'll do the micans first and this guy gets a pretty deep watering. I'm gonna give, actually no, my string of hearts is fine. It doesn't need any water right now. So I'm gonna actually lower you back down just a little bit. I'm just gonna water each of these plants. You might have gone too long in between waterings. Some of these plants right here, the soil is just so dry, it's taking a minute or two for it to even sink down. And I always water until I can see it kind of coming through down here. Looks like this one still has not oh, we're getting a little bit coming through now. This one uh, is really easy to water. It's in a ceramic pot and it's got pretty like airy uh, soil, so. And this one is actually like kind of like weird hydro-ish. So it's in an orchid pot. So what's gonna happen now is it's just gonna sit in this little water and then over the next 24 hours, it's actually gonna absorb all the water in the tray. Don't recommend leaving water in the tray unless you like know for a fact that your plant's gonna like soak it up. <sighs> so with these, you really wanna make sure that you're not watering them in their sinus. Uh, so in their little crown right here, any of like these little crown pieces you do not want to get them wet you do want to water the plants enough uh, and i think i've actually been going too long in between waterings someone told me that you shouldn't let their leaves get this malleable i think i'm going to actually start watering my orchids like every every two or three days just to make sure that i'm not letting them get too dry now i have these little peace lilies down here and i'm just gonna like totally load them up peace lilies love as much water as you can give them these are my two variegated peace lilies i have a little bit of water left and i'm actually gonna go over this way and give it to one of my hoya Okay, so now we have this like prop box down here. I'm going to take this out and kind of show you what's going on a little bit. Here's my prop box and I have a ton of different plants in here and a couple of them definitely need some care. So this is what I'm actually gonna be moving into my terrarium and this is my philodendron out of a poency. This guy is actually a baby poency right now and you can see that the big leaf is actually dying off and it's giving all of its life to the baby plant. This one's actually putting out its fifth leaf, fourth leaf, and it has two other growth points that are starting down low. Gotta go get my scissors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut off the big leaf so we don't need it anymore. And a couple, yeah, a couple of these roots are not doing so good, so I'm also gonna remove those. Are you bad? 
bad? Yeah, you're bad. Yeah, I think it, it just needs more light. Get rid of a couple of these little roots that are not doing well. All right, so now we have our first little baby Poensi, and I'm gonna be putting this guy in the terrarium so that he can uh, do his thing. Baby Poensi don't have red backs to their leaves when they start out from little stem cuttings, so we're gonna actually just kind of like pot this guy up in a couple minutes in a tiny little pot, and then I'm gonna stick him in the uh, terrarium. We have a couple other plants that are doing this right now. Oh, I just love them. I love it when they're little. I think that they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. LMAO, me like literally just vacuumed my floor and now it's like putting more stuff on my floor. Okay, and then I think this is another one. This one's also doing good. Another baby poency. My goal is I wanna grow these like into big plants. Then we have what I think is a little billy tie. In fact, I'm like, I'm almost certain that's what this is. It looks like the actual stem is dying off. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually going to cut plant off of the stem and it looks like the rot was already starting to spread up. I don't know if you can see, however, there's a tiny little brown happening inside the stem. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Now we need to cut up to where the brown is gone. There's only one node we can really cut up to and perfect. We got little baby domesticums. I have Syngodium albopodophyllum in here as well. Uh, he's actually putting out a little growth point right there. We have this Obovata Splash I've had in here for a while. He seems to be doing fine, so I think we'll leave him. Looks like other chalk on the other Syngodium Albopodophyllum that I cut up is also coming in with new leaves. I think we'll also put that in the terrarium. And we got something happening down here. Ooh, we got a big chunk of something throwing something out. There are so many things in this box, like I don't even know what's in here really. Kind of sad. <laughs> this, I have no idea what this is. I have zero idea what that is. What else? What else we got happening? We got a pepper, oh, variegated pepperoni in here. I'm actually gonna try this one again. It put out a baby, but the baby's not variegated. So we're actually gonna try to reroot this. I'm actually gonna cut it in half and then we'll keep this baby pepperoni up. And then I'll put this one actually, I think in a different prop box. This guy I got, this is like a Stefani I got. And then it just, I think died, honestly. I don't know. I was actually thinking about throwing this bin away, so I think I'm actually just gonna do that. I'm gonna, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually like plant the little things in here. You are so tall. There we go. I'm just gonna plant a couple of the things in here. Not everything, because some of the things need to go in my other prop box, but I think we'll do a couple of the tall things. Here. Oh, this is so exciting! We're moving on to our next step together. You guys did so good in that other prop box. Oh, I wanted to put... I actually wanted to put these out of a point seat in the... Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Is it? Billy Ty definitely needs to go in here. I got perlite dust in my throat! Oh, this is like a fun little thing we're doing together. Totally uh, didn't think that this is what was gonna happen today. Look at us being creative. So here's my little, little prop cloche. It's kind of fun. Ooh, that is kind of fun. I guess we can put this guy in here too. Why not, right? And then we'll throw some liquider in here too because liquider is great for propagating your house plants with. Perfect. Ooh, that's nice and heavy. We got our plants in here. Awesome. And we're just gonna dump some little liquider in here. So here's the little, uh, I'm totally blocking all your light. Here is the little uh, perlite garden we ended up making. There's a ton of water in here and it's actually gonna keep it really humid just how it is. So I'm not gonna put anything on top of it right now at least. Um, you can see there's all of that water in the bottom right there. The whole thing moves around. So that'll dry out in about two days. And then in two days, once that extra water kind of like dries out and whatever, we will put, I think some plastic wrap on the top and that will keep it humid for the rest of the time. But I'm actually really excited to see how this goes. It looks really cute. It's like kind of decorative little perlite garden, except that there's rare plants in it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is a decursiva node I kept, but. All right, cool, that was fun. That was fun, right? I think we'll keep this guy right here in the window. Oh, and it's like right, got the humidifier right next to it, which you can't even see. So literally the humidifier is like right there. And then this is our, this is our new little prop garden. How cute! Well, if you guys have cloches you don't know what to do with, do this. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's fun! That was actually fun. I heard that if you plant Peperomia and Philodendron together, they do really, really well. Give me more variegated children! 
I literally just vacuumed and now there's perlite everywhere again. So the biggest growth update I have to give you uh, in general at all period is the Ilsamanii. So he is unfurling uh, his newest leaf. Again, we have this one. This is the original leaf. If you haven't seen it enough on this channel, here it is again. Then it put out another leaf that died in labor, which sucks. And then it put out this leaf, which I was getting a little nervous because it was like, oh, where's your variegation, dude? And then it put out this leaf and I was like, oh, okay, that looks much better. And then it put out this leaf, which actually has some variegation happening. It's kind of hard for you to see, I think, because the leaf is still new. It's got a harden into place, but it's got some variegation at the top and then it's got some variegation in the middle. So I'm excited to see how he keeps coming in. The air layering is going really well. You can see his roots are going wild and some of them are even actually sticking back into the uh, soil. There's a couple uh, aerial roots that didn't take exactly. We do have another one happening right there. So that one's brand new. But yeah, 100% you guys, if you're not air, la air layering your philodendron, they might hate you. Here's a sad boy update. So I actually left my Monstera Albo by the window, which it usually sits there because it likes to get the sunlight. However, I accidentally left the window open all night and he got pretty severely cold damaged uh which it's starting to actually settle in you can see that right there is the damage it's got a little bit damage as well around the other node right here which you can kind of see just that little dark spot is the damage right there. I've been toying around with the idea of propagating it because I've decided I'm going to be buying an elbow after my next paycheck uh, at the end of March after my no buy is over. So I was toying around with the idea of literally just freaking chopping it. So we would chop these top three leaves. I would then propagate them and then I would repot them up together as another big plant. So then we'd have three separate plants in here. It has a node right here in auxiliary bud it could grow in from. It's undamaged. And then it has another spot too where it could grow in from again. I'm just really concerned because this is my baby. He was putting out a new leaf and then I was dumb and I left the window open all night and it sat in the freezing temps all night. Pointed in myself that I decided that I'd let that happen. I just like squeezed it a little bit and this like dark stuff came out. I don't know if you can see, but there's like dark wet stuff and it got on my nail. Bro, why you gotta go in freaking no, it's not your fault, I know it's my fault. So the really sad thing is I was already air layering this uh, so that I could propagate it in the future. And then a lot of the aerial roots actually died because of the cold damage. So these were active with like white tips on them. This entire aerial root up here completely died off. It was about this long, which I'm glad I, I cut it off before it started to totally die. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cut it um, right here. Oh, I don't want to do it. I am so scared that the whole thing is gonna die, but it'll be fine because I know it'll grow back on this one. So if the whole thing dies, then it's just like a big party foul, I guess. But I guess we could make two. We'll do that. Ah, oh, this is so stressful. Okay, so we're gonna actually we're gonna actually take a seat. That's like that's like bad. Like that at least has to go. Ah, oh, I hate this. This whole situation sucks. Okay, I guess we'll do it. I'm having like war flashbacks. I had an elbow that was gifted to me for my hard work working at the greenhouse that I volunteered at. It just, it really sucked because the uh, elbow ended up dying and it's a whole video on this channel. You can go watch if you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, man, this sucks. All right. It does not feel real that I just did this. I was not planning on cutting this Monstera until like the end of summer. And then I was gonna root a bunch of cuttings. And then in the spring, I was like, so excited. So I was gonna like have a sale and like do some giveaways. We got this guy. And I'm actually gonna cut him again. I'm very skeptical that that is going to destroy everything. The amount of damage on this lower cutting down here is pretty minimal um, on this like lower leaf. Bro, I can't even believe I really just did that. My whole thing was that I wasn't gonna be taking any cuttings anymore without them being air layered, but this is like kind of an emergency. So definitely some damage happening there. I think that might be the auxiliary bud. It is entirely possible that this entire cutting I just took will just completely die. Oh, is that the auxiliary bud? It's just, it's really weird because this has like a ton of damage right here and then there's no actual damage around this node and then there's damage around this node and I think that that dark spot right there that you're seeing is the auxiliary bud. I think our best chances at saving it is to divide it again so to cut it again right here 
I just think that this entire top part up here is just dead, bro. Honestly, I should probably cut the top part off. Like I should probably cut off that top leaf because it's it's like spewing goo. I don't know if you can tell, but it's spewing like wet black goo. And I think I could cut it here. And then we could try to root that one. And then we could try to root this one. I think that's what we'll do. <gasps> oh, he's so little again. That is just so sad. Three, two, one. Come on, buddy. I really need shears. All right. So we got this one. And now we'll take this one. So this is dead for sure, but I'm actually gonna press this leaf. I've been pressing all of my like dead and dying plants lately. So I'm gonna press this. Actually looks like it, I mean, it, we might be able to save it. I don't know, I'm having issues. Okay, you can see that it's brown in there, which is a sign of rot. Very emotional video. Like we were having a really good time and now we're having like really bad time. Why are you tracking my face, bro? Look at how gross that looks. Ew, sorry bro, you gotta go in the trash. I'm gonna press this leaf and then we have these two cuttings. Uh, for safety purposes, I'm gonna keep them in separate mediums because I know for a fact that this one will be okay, but I don't I don't know that this one will be okay. Okay, so I just made these. Uh, we have these like plastic water bottles that we buy for Chris to drink out of, uh, they're these. And these are really easy to reuse into these like prop containers. All you have to do is literally just cut the top off. <laughs> These scissors suck, man. It's a good way for you to reuse your plastic. It really sucks because our neighborhood doesn't have a recycling system. So it's really hard for us to actually like meaningfully recycle. So I just try to reuse my plastics as specifically as much as I can. You wanna make sure you cut off any like sharp edges. If you have better scissors, I have better scissors downstairs, but here I just made a third one just to show you how I did it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill these with perlite. I like to prop things in perlite and it looks like they're almost dry. I'm actually gonna try to cut a little bit more of this off. So what you have to do is you have to cut all of the bad stuff out and we're getting like right down to the node right there. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, fill that with perlite. Then we're gonna stick this bad boy uh, all the way in there as much as we can. Hi Raven. All right, and now I'm gonna put water in this uh, in a second. All right. Now we got our two little props and I'm gonna go fill these guys with water. <sighs> okay, so what I've gone and done is I added a little bit of liquider in there and then I filled it up with water and then what you do is you dump all the loose water out. All you want is the perlite to just be wet and moist. That way it will encourage the plants to root without really, really uh, risking the chance for rot. So you can see down here, uh, it's wet. You can see like the little air bubbles moving around, but this will be good because it will create a nice humid environment for the plant to root uh, without really worrying about rot. This one actually has a little too much water in it. You can see it's a little too liquidy, so I'm gonna dump a little bit of this one out. What we're really going for is like a nice semi-hydro. Well, you know what? We've been doing this for a while. I'm tired and sad. And I think I wanna hang out with my friends tonight over Discord, so I'm gonna go. But I hope that that was fun, uh, kind of. We got some fun stuff done. We made a cute little perlite, little new prop box terrarium like thing. And then we watered some plants. We examined my prop box and then we uh, decided to get to work on making sure that my Monstera album is gonna survive. Thank you so much for watching to today's video. Please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at me plant at me, blah, 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 blah. Follow me on Instagram at Plant Me Ashley for real. Please go do both those things. Plant Me Ashley everywhere. Go check me out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will be sure to answer any and all questions I see. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Better than me. At least, at least it wasn't so bad. Like it could have been worse. I walked in this room at 2 a.m. because I needed to grab something and I realized I had left it open. So that's when I closed it. But I could have lost the whole plant. So, so if this one ends, does end up biting the bucket, uh, at least we'll have some, some fresh meat soon. It's not like, this is literally like my favorite plant besides the Ilsamanii. So for it's just like, and I worked so hard on all these leaves. Like I, it had already grown back from being cut back to nothing. We'll just have to be giving it extra liquid art to make sure it grows back nice and fast. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next houseplant section. Don't forget to close your windows. Goodbye.